one, two, three. We want to welcome everybody to Mom and Dad Tells. We're favorite two people are Mom and Dad, and we have Hansy. On time. There we go. On time. Well, unfortunately, we have another devastation to this country with the Georgia high school shooting. Um, You know, Dad, you're a teacher. And I can't imagine. Retired teacher, yeah, you're a retired wow. teacher. I can't imagine, and mom, you worked in the school, and Hans, you also worked. In, I can't imagine you going to work one day and not coming home because someone had a bad day and decided to take my father's life. Um, there are four suspects that lost their lives, unfortunately. Two teach, two teachers, two teachers, teachers, two students, and I can't imagine oh. parents, you know, in in advance the insensitivity towards it that somebody's lost a child their child's not coming home right because somebody's uh, other boy. child was raised differently and mm -hmm. decided to say you know what i'm just going to kill you to show my frustration and mm -hmm. the, the child turned himself in the child's living he, he didn't shoot himself in the head <laughs> he turned himself in yeah, 14 years well, old. Uh, I didn't know he turned himself in, but I just think that his dad needs to go to jail. Uh, well, that, you know. Well, and that, 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 that's going to happen. He, he's going he's gonna to get 180 years. Who's, who's living 180 years? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> he's living somebody else's. They're going to make sure that he does not come out. I mean, yeah. but, but. That uh, right there ought to be. Well, a rush warrant was given for Colin Gray, his father, because alleges he gave his, alleges he gave his son a firearm with the knowledge he was a threat to himself and others. Right. Um, and let's just be real. How do you not know your child? You guys are parents. Mm -hmm. How do you not know your child? There's something wrong with them. You know, the, a lot, there are a lot of parents who are not aware of their child's mental state. Hmm. You know, you've seen that in the you've seen that in these in the classrooms where the, the teachers will tell a parent, well, your child needs professional help. Mm -hmm. And the parents, oh no, my child is fine. It doesn't need. Yeah, doesn't need. But, but Dad, is fine. it more denying yes, the fact I, of the I, obvious? I want to hear that. I want to hear my. Yeah, I, I don't want to see what I'm seeing, but all the clues are all right there. You know, it's kind of like you know when when you marry the woman you're supposed to not marry, and all the signs were there. You just didn't want to see them. That's right. <laughs> she, she just didn't turn crazy when you married her. She was crazy before you married. You just see all the warning signs. If, 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 Love is blind. If, 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 you know, I'm. I see now they're trying to correct a lot of things after Columbine. You know, let's let's get the parents because you know I know in Michigan that's they went after the parents. They that's, those, that's yeah. where they need to. And so you know you got you know you're not you can't do plausible deniability because that's your child and that's their child. My child just did that. There has to be some reason and and. and you know, there has to be some responsibility as a parent. That's right. I agree. You know, but, not, but yeah. when the when the parent knows this, has knowledge that that their son is problematic, <laughs> and they gives him a gun for Christmas. Oh, I don't understand that. Well, I well, and, and that's 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 what's troubling me. That well, you, well, that his parent his parents didn't. Didn't raise him any better than that. Well, l l let's let's look at we you know we always try to please our children. Our children want something really really good. You know, I tell the story all the time. My dad wanted me to have a nice 1968 Camaro until he saw me drive the Camaro and says, "Well, it's a it's being sold because my son's gonna kill himself with this." Now that's a responsible parent. As bad as I wanted that car. Yeah, you know, as much as abuse he took from my mom. You know, trying to build the car and stuff. <laughs> That was a big move by my dad. <laughs> you know, he ain't having this. I'm sorry. He, he ain't ready for this. And that's being a parent. You got to know when your child can't handle something. Mm -hmm. but, you know, we got a lot of people out there. And, you know, dad, you know, you were raised with weapons growing up. Yeah. I'm sure your dad, when he, he taught you how to use a gun, when to use it, don't point at people. You don't kill people. 
Um, he gave you all those things, even with toy guns. You know, don't point it at people. Mm-hmm. All that stuff. Um, unfortunately, you know, a lot of it's bad parenting. You expose your children to a lot of stuff they shouldn't be exposed to. Um, I don't know what happened in the home. Uh, previous incidences occurred where, you know, hate has always been the theme. All these people out there, they're not right. Well, they want to do something about it. When I think about the young man who killed the people at church down in South Carolina, he wanted to start a race war. That's upbringing. He just didn't come up with that. That That's the talk. Well, these people are taking over this country and stuff. We haven't taken over nothing. We got things I mean, we're, we're less than 10% of the population, but we get blamed for everything. The black people. I'm like, what? We were brought in chains. I have friends telling me, Todd, if you don't like this country, go back to Africa. I, I got no country to go. This is the only country I know. I don't have an address to go back to. I didn't come. You know, there's a lot of layers to this. And you got a lot of people that are just angry. And a lot of times they just take it out on people that are vulnerable. Mm-hmm. I, I just get bothered by, by that. But, you know, and I, I feel my heart goes out to the families. We're praying for the families that were devastated. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. nobody wins in this. No. You know, I don't know where in the world we get a gun to take someone's life because mm. it's senseless. Mm. You know, we have a military that you can go to and if you want to go off to wars and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We do have that if that's just in your blood to do something like that. At least do it for a good cause. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think I remember hearing that this young man showed signs of he wanted to kill somebody a, a year earlier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And nothing was done. Okay. Turn to death here. Well, I, I, it seems like it seems like they did have a conversation um, with the, the even even the police or the or the um, officials at school. There was more involved into it than just the parents. Clearly, there's something wrong upstairs that you can't admit that there's something's going on here. Mm-hmm. I think they, they that the police even asked him, asked the father, you know, what's going on? Have you had a conversation with him and all of that? Uh, uh, who's who's having a conversation with the father? <laughs> you know, it didn't, you know, it didn't start, it just it just didn't start up overnight. And and those of us who those those of us who who know and recognize a a, a home uh, mother father and there's no Christ in it that's where that's where the that's where the problem is well and I know everybody doesn't believe in it. Mm-hmm. But it, <laughs> you have to admit, <clears throat> if you don't have good things coming out of your house, mm-hmm. that there's something lacking. Mm-hmm. And, and that, that that's a great point, Hanty. You know, good things. The Bible talks about that. Mm-hmm. Think on these good things. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, there's a saying that we have, one of our favorite writers there, that if you look, continue to look for the evil in others, you'll be, you're, you're going to become evil yourself. Mm-hmm. Start complimenting and looking in the good for others. Right. Try, try, just, just change it up. If you're realizing you're hating people, why don't you just find a, one good, good point mm-hmm. and start from there mm-hmm. and say a positive thought about different people one good point yes we got people who have different thoughts and different things but hate is one of those things that convinces you that you know what they're not a human being and when you turn people into objects that's when it becomes easier to kill and i just really my heart goes out to the families even the mine too you know what i'm saying mine too. you got two children and they're not going home i i can't imagine the parents and and then you got these are 
you know, you got a 53 year old math teacher and a 39 year old assistant football coach. Mm. Their mm. lives are gone. They, their families are not going to see them again. And all they're doing is they're trying to make a difference in mm. young lives. Mm. You know, I can't imagine my wife going to school one day and not coming home because a kid had a bad day. Mm. 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 And and from the reports, they're saying that, you know, there were things talked about. I don't know, you know, if they had, but, you know, um, it, this is becoming more and more and uh, becoming more and more insensitive. Like, well, this is just a common thing. Look out for it. Well, well hold on a second. Where's the raising at? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where's the discipline? Right. At? Right. You know what I'm saying? You got mm -hmm. people afraid of disciplining kids now. They're kids. Mm -hmm. and, and the school system does need to step up to mm -hmm. the plate by having scanners in the hallways as you come into the school. Mm -hmm. You know, now this young man had a had a rifle, had an AR-15, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And how did he come into the school with his yeah, rifle? That, yeah, that, that's a good question. If there's a scanner out that run front door like they do at airports, mm -hmm. it would go off and alarms would go all out. all over the place. Or, or your backpacks are clear. They have clear backpacks. Mm -hmm. You can't have the clothes with them, but they have to be clear so they can see what you're carrying in there. So the school does have some responsibility there. Yeah. Because that student should have never gotten through that front door, so side that, door, wherever that, with, that gun. with that gun. And unfortunately, we're going to have to have more security in our schools. Yeah. No. Put that I, I put like this. It seems like there's more security at Walmart. They have more gun control. Than there are at schools, unfortunately. But, you know, I mean, like I said, I, I, I can't. I, it, this hurts my heart. Um Every time this happens, it's like this is it's always sensitive, doesn't it? You you can't even it, it should not happen. Mm -hmm. There should not be a thing where you have to be alert to it. You okay. know what I'm saying? And uh when people are unstable like this, especially underage people mm -hmm. who have anger issues, you know, there's always a warning sign. It's just people choose to ignore it, mm -hmm. pacify it. Well, he he's he's just like that. Don't, don't make excuses for it. Hey, that should not be. I know in my home, I was taught by my parents to not even say kill someone. Mm -hmm. Don't even think that. If you get mad, pray for them. Mm -hmm. right. Let God deal with it. So with that in mind, we're going to let everybody go. Pray for the families and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. you know, as more stuff comes out, we'll find out. But this, this is a very sad day in America. Till next time, we'll see you on Mom and Dad Talks.